Hello, people of the internet. Um, today, we're going to talk about how I became a senior designer. Um, I recently got asked a question that that uh, uh, made me realize that I needed to talk about this. And and so they asked me how I when did my job start looking at me as senior material? When did they start looking at me as like, oh, he should be a senior role. He should be a senior designer. Um, and truthfully, I never had that at one one place. Um, I was a exposition at a certain place. I took a position somewhere else. I got a, a higher position. I took a position somewhere else and I got a higher position. That's that's how that worked. But the reason that I got those positions was because I was taking steps at lower positions that were roles for higher positions. So when I was at a smaller, smaller shop, there was just a couple of us um, designers, a couple editors, and then the people who own the company. And that was basically it. And so when we were doing national campaigns and spots, we started needing roles to be filled. Um, usually that was filled by one of the partners or, or one of the editors or whatever, but it got increasingly more um, important for somebody that was actually one of the creatives to start stepping in to be in those client meetings and start talking about creative. Um, and so it was pretty, pretty interesting the way that that worked out. So I... I started actually seeing a need um, and I started putting myself in that spot. So I started taking on additional roles, um, especially early on in my career, I started taking on additional roles to, to help because I realized that, hey, we needed additional people that were in these spots, these these things, so, so that way we could talk to the clients. Um, and so I started actually putting myself in those spots, which then led to me starting to be involved in the bidding. Like, how long is that gonna take? And then that got me involved in doing other things. Um, and though I was still a junior designer, and though I was still at the bottom of the, the rank there, I was starting to do a lot more stuff that the mid-level designer or the senior level designer would be doing because they needed that. And so I realized that they needed that. And so I started putting myself in those spots. Um, and so that, that, uh, that actually gave me a lot of experience in those opportunities. So when, when something else came up, when another job came up somewhere else, I was able to take that role as a, another, you know, as a mid-level designer, which then led me to be a senior level designer um, because I was able to, to step into those roles when they were needed, even when I was a junior level designer. Even when I was at the beginning of my career, I started seeing the need for, for certain aspects of that job. They needed somebody to help you know, do this, or they needed somebody to help do that. And so I started stepping into those roles to help. I wasn't actually truly looking to, to like move right up the ranks or anything like that because where I was was so flat. But what I did see is that I saw that there was a need and I started putting myself in those spots. So I was like, okay, well, I know that my work is done over here. Let me go ahead and help these guys do this stuff over here. Help me, let me help, you know, by getting into the meeting to help, you know, flesh these things out with that client or, hey, they need somebody to help bid this stuff and these people are busy. Let me help do that. And it was the same way when I started doing style frames and start, started doing boards and started doing those kind of things. They had a need and I was like, okay, well, these people are busy. I haven't done this. Let me help you do this. And so I started stepping in and doing those things. And so as my careers progressed, that's just how I've always been. And so I got the next job and I got the next job. The only sad part is, truthfully, is that I was only able to get those higher level positions when I went to another job. Every single time that I, I wanted to move up in the ranks or you know start having another title or whatever it was, those opportunities weren't available to me at the job that I was at. And so I had to move and take another position somewhere else. And then that led me to learn some other things and continue to grow in my craft. And then I had to go somewhere else. So that was actually the only down, you know, downer to this whole, this whole thing is that I wasn't able to stay at the same place the whole time. Um, that I had to, I had to be open to, to moving to other states um, and take other opportunities somewhere else. Um, but now I am where I am. Um, I couldn't be happier. Um, I'm super excited with the, the work that I've been doing and the people that I've been doing it with. Um, and honestly, I just don't want to move anymore. And so I kind of, I'm settled now. Um, but early in my career, that's all it was, is just me putting myself in spots that, that I saw that there was a need 
and and just going after that and then just helping when I can there and then helping when I can there and knowing that my work is done and so that way I can help and do these things over here and so that actually helped me a lot with my time management so that I started understanding hey I need to have this stuff done so that way I can help these guys do this stuff which is going to help teach me other things and so hopefully when you guys are going through your career and you guys are trying to figure that stuff out is is start and when you start seeing holes when you start seeing needs start trying to see if you can fill those needs start seeing if maybe you know you can be involved in some of those meetings and start asking questions i mean if they if they have a need and they just don't have another designer then they're going to need somebody in there and so maybe that could be you maybe you could step in and maybe you can start helping do that or maybe you can start helping doing frames doing you know helping them through the creative process you know because every single idea that you're going to come up with even if it's not the best idea at least it'll help them flesh out ideas and so that that's just going to get you involved in all that stuff which will lead to other positions um because they're going to start trusting you and truthfully that's all it comes down to is trust they, if they trust that you're going to take care of the client, that you're going to be able to be in those meetings and you're, you're going to be able to have good good intentions with the work and good intentions with what you're trying to do with the client and that the client start trusting you, then all you're going to do is just constantly start being involved more and more and more in those creative processes. When they start trusting you with the frames, when they start trusting you with all those little aspects of the, the mid-level and the senior level roles, that's going to help you start being more and more involved which is just going to give you that one leg up the next time that they need somebody um so hopefully that's a help um if you got any questions about you know how i you know do these other things when it comes to being a senior role or how did i do something else in my career just let me know um feel free to comment like share subscribe to the channel um i appreciate you guys taking the time to to check out the videos and i'll see you guys in the next one